to Switzerland. Now we're currently in Geneva, um, we're here for literally 24 hours, um, and in that space of time I'm filming two videos. This being the first one, and another one which will be coming a bit later on uh, in the week that this is uploaded. Now the plan for this video is to basically drive around Geneva and uh, see what car dealerships we can find. Because we've got a free morning tomorrow, this is the evening before that I'm filming this. Um, and then later on that day I'll be filming the second video. Um, which is very exciting and I'm keeping quiet for now. But by the time this video goes up, you might already know what it is if you follow my Instagram. Anyway, like I said, um, it's currently the night before. Um, we've literally just arrived here. This is our hotel room. Very nice. Um, we need to get some sleep because we're very tired and we shall catch up with you in the morning. quick trip into Porsche here in Geneva. Um, just before we head on to our next destination, I just want to show you this GT3 RS, which is very nice, but you might notice that it has no wing. Now, this is the first GT3 RS I've ever seen without a wing, um, and I'm not sure what I think about it. I think that the GT3 RS needs that big wing. Um, I mean, it looks cool, but I don't think I'd have it like this. You can see that it's obviously made um, to have the wing on off all the time, because it's got some special one-off carbon um, end plates. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's got a very nice PTS colour, which doesn't really come out very well on, on here. Yeah, hop back into the, uh, the rental beast <laughs> <laughs> and uh, head on to the next destination. So as we're on our way to our next dealership, I'd like to talk to you a bit about the rental car um, that I have for this weekend. It is a, an A220D um, and it's actually surprising me nice and it actually makes me really want an A45. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is funnily enough the only car I'm allowed to rent here in Switzerland. Any standard Peugeot or Toyota or anything like that, there's an age limit of 21. However, with this, the age limit is 18. So I'm all right. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because this is really nice. Anyway, I need to sort of concentrate on what I'm doing because still this is very strange for me driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you when we get to our next destination. How's this for a welcoming into a dealership then? 488 Challenge. Is it black or blue? I think it's it, blue posy, which is a very, very dark blue. This is insane. Look at that wing. Very cool how it's parked next to the road going 488 as well. This is ludicrous. I saw some of these racing around the track at Silverstone last year for Ferrari racing days. But actually seeing one here, just chilling in a dealership, especially next to a 488, is very, very cool. I forgot to mention actually, we're currently at Modena Cars. Um, as you can see, it's not bad. Um, it's a pretty huge dealership actually, as you might be able to see behind me in the distance. Um, so I think. Have a good look around and see what we can see. Oh my word. No, I was not expecting to see one of those. Oh my days. <laughs> SXXK. So we've got a 488 challenge. Uh, we've, we've got, but there's more track cars in here than road cars. the corner to a place called Karagati according to that sign um, and the cars here are equally as awesome as the Ferrari place we've just been to which is literally two minutes down there so uh, have a look at this now if I zoom in and let it focus there is a freaking Zonda R in there and that is not all if I put round here 599 720 
Zonda F. Club Sport, I think. Another Zonda just there. XJ220 there. 8C Spider. <laughs> Pretty incredible, right? Now, obviously, it's closed. It's a Saturday today, which is a shame. I did actually um, get in contact with the guys here um, and see if we can have a look around the whole place. They said, yeah, it's fine, uh, but we're closed on a Saturday, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but that Zonda, Jesus. So I've just been sat in the car here looking through some of the footage, and I've realised that this is a very Mitch Matchy video. Uh, we're literally jumping from dealership to dealership, some of which are closed, like the one we just visited, um, and others it's just a bit like in and out, have a look what's there and go. Um, so I do apologise about that. Sorry if the um, video is a bit unorganised. This is also my first time driving abroad, so I can't really um, talk whilst driving and stuff because I'm kind of low-key crapping myself. Um, giving Chloe a half attack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we've now got a half an hour drive to the next place. So I suppose we get on our way now, try not to crash, and um, I'll see you on the other side. You fill me with so much hope. died and gone to heaven. <laughs> this thing is stunning. Not only is it the first white one I've properly seen up close, I have seen white ones before but not like up close in touching distance. Um, wow, I believe it's Bianco Fuji. I may be wrong, I don't know, it might be some special white. Um, but oh my god, it looks stunning. One thing not a lot of people know about the TDF is just the amount of carbon it has. So we've got all around the lights here, you can probably see. All round the front grille, these vents, the bits down here. Round here we've got this carbon, um, kind of like air bridge. Full carbon side skirts, which have that little funny bit at the end, which if you go up to a curb, that's very, very dangerous. <laughs> then if I come round to the back, we've got this carbon strip round here, and then the carbon boxes around the centre. Oh, and let's not forget the carbon splitter, which is amazing too. But one thing I do want to point out about this, and you've probably already noticed it as I've been walking around, is the black touches on it. So we've got the black Ferrari badge there, we've got the black Ferrari badge there as well. We have the black fuel filler cap. Actually, is it sat on brown? I don't know. Either way, it looks amazing, because most of the time on TDFs they have uh, kind of like this stainless steel finish. Um, but when it's black on this spec, it works perfectly. And then we also have the black Ferrari badge up here. Although I do two more things to this, and that is the carbon centre caps and the carbon shields there. That would, for me, complete it off perfectly. Before we explore the rest of the showroom, I just want to show you one more thing. And that is up there. That is an F40 right there, which is pretty cool. But one thing I have noticed is you can see how... Scrape the underside of it, which is slightly painful. <laughs> it is pretty painful. I mean, look at that. Ooh, that was a hefty curb, that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can see an SV up there. We've got all sorts of there. So we got there in a second. Uh, but for now, we've got some pretty awesome toys around here to look at. dealerships that we've gone to today this has to be my highlight not only do they have the cute dog where'd it go where'd the cute dog gone there it is, there it is. look at that but also they have a see-through floor you can see down there we've got the tdf with the f40 up here oh my god although we've seen some better cars at other dealerships such as that fxxk which we did not expect to see uh 488 challenge on the r the list goes on um but this place is just so amazing. They've even got an F40, um, was it clamshell? The front end hung on the wall. <laughs> One last look at this TDF, but from above. Oh my days. This thing is the dream. 
I'm practically standing on it. <laughs> Anyway, sadly that is all we've got time for today, um, but it, like I said earlier on in the video, it's been a bit of a mixed matchy day, uh, so I do apologise if it's been a little bit unorganised or rushed, that's because it has, <laughs> not going to lie, uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.